What is going on you guys? So today is Thursday. We're here with Lee and uh, we are gonna be rolling over to work on Turdzilla, get the Mark 8 engine prepped and ready to go. This is kind of a repeat video because we already tried to do this with the Cobra engine and uh, obviously that didn't work out so great. First, we're gonna take a stop to the PO box and see uh, what is over there and then we're gonna head down to Nick's shop and get cracking on the Mark 8 engine. Let her rip, Tater Cheers. <laughs> What do you think we got? Let's see. Well, the big question is, do I remember what the number is? Ha ha! Ooh, we got, we got some stuff. All right, let's see. Um, okay, well that's, that's not mine. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? Mail pickup notice. During regular business hours. Are they still open? They should be. Interesting. Anything else today? Nope. There we go. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Alright, so we got a package here. I think we're going to do an in-car unboxing on the way to go work on Turdzilla. What do you think? I think so. So let's go, let's go open this up. We got this and we got this one down here. So let's see what we got in here. Alright, let's see what we got. <laughs> Alright, so. We have a banner. And, oh, look at that. It's the picture of the cars. That is awesome. With Mustang Lifestyle. All right, I'm gonna show a better uh, picture of this later when we have more room to open it up. <laughs> but that is awesome. It says Mustang Lifestyle, and this is the picture from the gas station at Mustang Week. That was definitely a fun trip and that a fun is time. Pretty sweet. All right. All right, and we got our second package here. You know where you're going? The I-4. Yeah. There's a couple ways I can take. Hey Andrew, I'm sending you this poster with the hopes that you'll open it in a video. If not, do whatever you want with it. In any case, love your channel. Keep the Mustang content coming and sinister shelby i recognize this you could comment all the time on instagram and youtube and let's see what we got in here Ooh, looks like some uh yeah 13 14 taillights yeah this is awesome i like it yeah sweet thanks man all right huge shout out to sinister shelby and steve uh, those look awesome. We'll find a place to hang up and uh, mention them in the video. Uh, so anyways, we're going to continue on our way uh, to go work on Turnzilla. So we'll see you guys when we get there. And there she is in all of her glory. Patiently waiting. Oh, and there's an engine. Look at that. What's up? So we got to do this again. Yep, Strip two. it down. This one's a little more intense though. That intake's garbage. Huh, that's interesting. That must have happened when they pulled it out. Probably. Scrap yard don't care. Yeah. So step one on this is we're gonna try to put it on the engine stand there and we're basically gonna tear it down and get it back down without any harness or anything like that on it. So this would be convenient to have this on an engine stand to work efficiently and get the uh, cams swapped over because we're going to strip this down, put the cams in this engine, and let's see, what else do we got to do? Get the uh, intake on, have the IMRC delete plates. All right, getting it hooked up on the engine stand. All right, so we're going to begin the teardown process here on the Mark 8 engine, and basically just pull plugs off, connectors, take off all the EGR junk, and get it prepped and ready to put the cams in the engine.
so we're gonna check in here. Uh, we're still working on getting it torn down. We're about to pull the intake manifold off. I got one side of the exhaust manifold off. We got the harness off, and yeah. So we're just continuing basically stripping this down. I'm gonna take the valve covers off, and then the timing cover, and get the new cams in. Oh, I see some wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, so the lower's still good. IMRC plates. Yeah. Not full of water this time. So we think of uh, intake manifold runner control around here. Yep. Jump. Pretty much. That's what that is. All right. Pull the valve cover. How's that look? Cleaner than the cover motor. Yeah. Gasket looks good too. Very clean. That's nice. Put those in a nice place so they don't get scratched like the other ones. Way cleaner than the cover motor. Yeah, the only thing I saw was I think there's a little oil in that one, which is these uh, tube seals. Tube seals, very common. I guess we got a new gasket set though. Mm -hmm. They're actually on your other. Yeah, they're already on the. Nice. Those look pretty good. So we have encountered our first problem. Uh, luckily, all of the exhaust manifold studs came out. Unfortunately, two of the motor mount bolts on this side were not so uh, lucky. But, no, there's not really much to grab on there. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna pull the harmonic balancer. I'm not gonna do it this time because of last time. <laughs> Hand your brakes things. Hand your brakes things. All right, so any tips for proper removal of a harmonic balancer? Make sure you take the washer, Andrew. Yes, the washer. So that was what my issue was the other day. I left the washer inside. Look at that. Yep, comes right out. You left the washer inside the crank pulley, so it was pushing on the washer instead of the crank. And then the bolt snapped. Wow, that was great. Good job. It's like you, you know how know what you're doing. Yeah, right. Doing race car things, Lee. Doing race car things. Yeah, rip to those uh, motor mount bolts. Someone, uh, someone man powered them. No, it wasn't. I, I actually said to Nick, I said, here, do this one. I think it's gonna break. And guess what? It broke. Lee. Use the electric powered ratchet. Do it. No. Don't be lazy. How, how is this being Don't lazy? be lazy. How is this being Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, strange oh, this is the uh, strange manual brake system. Ooh, some brackets. Uh, drive shaft safety loop. And, oh, that's uh, important. EPR subframe connectors only. Oh, we got a set. Nice. Yep. And my alternator. And my so which uh, subframe connectors are we doing first? Yours or Turdzilla's? <laughs> Whoever comes first, I guess. Look who listened. All right, now we have to tilt this normal way and get the other valve cover off. All right, we just need to pull this valve cover off, pull the timing cover off, and then we'll pull the oil pan and get this thing ready. I just, you should be able to just pull it. I got the fourth bottom. I got all these going around. It should be good. How's she looking? Could use some new guides, that's for sure. So we got the uh, the Cobra ones, right? Yeah. And one last step is pulling the, the pan. Which? Let's, let's hope for the best, let's drop this. 
and we're gonna attempt to use some heat here to get the motor mount bolts off without snapping. Room of your life so much easier. And soon, for the moment of truth, Lee. I get to finally see this one. I missed the last one. Grab right onto him. Magic stuff? From Mac. Yeah, apparently the uh, oil pan bolts were a little rounded off. These two. This one too. That one too. Definitely a lot of Probably did an oil pan gasket at some point. Road salt to eat them away too. That too. Good old Ohio. Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh, John and Don. Oh yeah, work it. It's getting ratchet in here for sure. All right, some heavy breathing and some drum roll. <laughs> Need to know that this is good. Survey says. Clean. Yeah, it's okay. How does that look? Good. Bottom of it? Yeah. It's just this normal shit, that's okay. Yeah. Alright. Cool. I think we're in business, right? That's quite a bit better than the old, the old Cobra engine. And that's good to see. All right guys, so we're just leaving Nick's shop right now. Uh, we got a lot done on the engine, we got it torn down. Uh, next step is to disassemble the timing components, uh, put in a new oil pump, and put in the Cobra uh, gear, and put in the Cobra cams. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap that like button down below. Uh, what we did today wasn't really that technical. Basically, just take things apart and uh, get ready to put the new stuff in. So, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time.